Okay, so we're going to demonstrate immobilization with movement for lateral epicondylalgia. All right, we have a dynamometer. What we're going to do is have her reach her right arm straight. It needs to be straight. We're going to have her grab the dynamometer. Go ahead and squeeze it. I tell them to squeeze as hard as they can. I take a reading of the dynamometer. Let's say in this case she only had 20 pounds and it was painful. I would ask her for a verbal rating scale. Zero out of 10, how much pain did you have with that? Five. Okay. All right, good. So now I have a baseline. What I'm going to do is then lie her down on her back with her head at this end. Now, I can use a dynamometer for her to grip here, but sometimes that's a little bit cumbersome for me. I have no problems if you just use a rolled towel. Okay? So what we would do is just roll it up without something they can get a good grip of. Right? And then what I have her do is put her elbow back straight. And just to make sure that I have a good baseline reading, I'm going to ask her one more time. Squeeze as hard as you can. Zero out of ten. How much pain are we having here? Okay, so she still has the same pain. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here, relax your arm, okay? I'm going to grab underneath and across and come a little bit closer in here, okay? And just, so I'm going to block this. What I'm going to do is apply a lateral glide. It's a little bit lateral, but a little bit up towards me because of the position of her humerus moving into a little bit of internal rotation here, okay? I'm going to block it. I'm trying to move laterally along the joint line. I'm going to hold that position, and I'm going to have her squeeze as hard as she can. And I hope, and it should be 0 out of 10 pain. Relax. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, how did that feel when you did that? Fine. Okay, and then it felt pain-free. So then what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold my glide. I'm not letting it go. Squeeze again. I'm going to have her do 10 squeezes. And relax. Good. And squeeze again. And relax. And we'll just imagine, for the sake of this, we went through all 10 squeezes, and then we relax. Okay? Then I'm going to sit her back up. Sit back up, face me. I'm going to give her the dynamometer again. I'm going to have her straighten out her arm, give it a nice big squeeze. And what I'm looking for is significantly less pain and hopefully at least a significant amount of increased force on the dynamometer. I would be happy if she has any increased force, but sometimes we see great change up to 10, 20, 30, maybe even 40 pounds, depending on how effective the technique was. If it worked well, I would repeat it again. I'd repeat it three or four times until I got a plateau in her progress. Awesome.